What's up guys, welcome back to another Saints Row video. Today I'll be going over 40 gameplay facts you guys must know about the Saints Row reboot. These facts have either been confirmed by Saints Row themselves on Twitter or through various media outlets that have shared their gameplay impressions from the game. And I'm sure after hearing a lot of these, you guys are going to be very excited to see more gameplay from Saints Row. Alright, so let's get stuck right in. Fact number one, the Saints is still purple. You might have noticed the Saints Row Twitter updated their logo and their header to be a kind of blue turquoise colour. A lot of the marketing has also been that colour instead of the normal signature purple. But apparently this is all part of the journey as you form the Saints in the reboot. You rise from scratch in the criminal underworld and you actually have to bring in the purple uniform more as you progress through the game. The reboot is going to allow players to create a criminal empire from scratch and that's something that's not previously been done before as previously we were always joining a gang that already existed. It's confirmed that the reboot will have the most in-depth character creator the series has ever seen. And apparently you can even create your character to be a green-skinned zombie alien monster if you want to. You can choose from 8 customizable voices, 4 male and 4 female. Layered clothing is confirmed. Vehicles have been described as having a huge array of customization options, and Saints Row themselves said they've added more options than ever before for vehicle customization. You can save any of your customized vehicles in a garage. You can even recruit gang members and customize them. Saints Row have said as you progress through the game, you'll be unlocking and be able to recruit more purple shirts to work for you. The game will be running on a brand new engine. The Saints Row reboot story can be played completely in co-op, which will also be seamless drop-in, drop-out gameplay with no waiting lobbies. Co-op is also confirmed across generations of hardware, so if you're on the PlayStation 5, you can actually play with a buddy that hasn't upgraded yet on the PlayStation 4. Co-op will still be limited to two people. The game will be set in Santo Aliso, which is apparently the largest map the Saints Row franchise has ever seen. Day and night cycles are confirmed in the game, I don't believe the last couple of Saints Row games had them, so personally I'm pretty happy that's making a return. The city will be introducing new stores as well as returning familiar and recognisable stores from previous games. Santo Elisa will also have its own radio stations. The map will contain 9 unique districts, each with unique themes and cultures along with a vast desert area. The map is a condensed version of Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, Nevada and California. Monto Visto looks a lot like the gated communities in the Palm Springs area of California. The city motto is keep it strange, basically to embrace the weirdness that makes Saints Row, Saints Row. You can find many unique areas around the map including dinosaur statues, bizarre sculptures, intricate graffiti, golf courses, dusty deserts and even a long road called Route 66. City takeover will still be block by block and gangs will also have their own territories which definitely gives me the vibes of Saints Row 1 and 2, which I'm sure a lot of players will love. The game focuses on making you feel self-made, you will be your own boss. Empire building will have a huge focus also, you'll be able to choose what type of businesses you'd like to build in each vacant lot. Some activities from previous games will return, there were some mentions of the insurance fraud activity coming back. Building businesses will change the look of the world and open up side missions for you, Side missions include running drugs out of a fast food truck, just like in Breaking Bad I guess, auto theft, we've got arms dealerships and even protection rackets. The reboot will have three enemy factions, two of which are other gangs. First of all we have the marshals, basically the military using high technology weapons and traps, the panteros which are all about muscle, physical power, they use a lot of melee and heavy weaponry and then the Idols, who are described as a cult of self-styled anarchists. There will also be the Santo Aliso police to go up against. The reboot will be the first Saints Row game not to feature an enemy faction whose primary colour is red. VTOLs and hoverbikes will return, along with interesting new vehicles such as wingsuits and hoverboards. It's confirmed that weapons are customisable. The game's combat focuses on having a very large array of guns and melee options that you can make your own. The Penetrator sadly won't be making a return in this game, however the design director said that there's a huge variety of weapons that are crazy and pretty far out there. Sadly no old characters will be returning in the next Saints Row game, when asked about it Saints Row said that they love the old characters too, 
however they wanted to make a new world with new characters in it and there wasn't a whole lot they could do after the storyline of the last Saints Row game. There will however be easter eggs and references added to fan favourite characters such as Johnny Gat. And that leaves me with the last fact number 40 and that was the DLC content is confirmed for this Saints Row reboot. It was confirmed by them on Twitter, they just can't confirm exactly what it looks like yet. But they did say DLC content is planned. But yeah, that was 40 gameplay facts for the Saints Row reboot. I suspect we will be seeing more gameplay and getting more details very soon, as it's set to launch very early next year, on the 25th of February, on PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and also the Epic Games Store. If you are looking forward to Saints Row, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future breaking news and gameplay, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.